wise Old Dominion number one in customer satisfaction? Maybe it's our over 99% on time rate or how we support the dynamic digital marketplace. Our people never stop working to make your shipping easier. Old Dominion, helping the world keep promises. The coming of 2020 marks not just the start of a new year, but also of a new decade, when a number of new trends are likely to take shape in the pharma world. For insights on where pharma is headed and what it could mean for manufacturers, pharma manufacturing reached out to some of the industry's top experts. Here's what they saw when they looked into their crystal ball for 2020 and beyond. A new generation of up-and-comers, such as the cancer immunotherapies, Keytruda and Opdivo, are on the rise, but also the total number of antibodies is going to be significantly larger, predicts Andrew Bolpin, Head of Process Solutions for Life Sciences at Millipore Sigma. According to Kevin Lawler, Vice President of Worldwide Sales at Pelican Biothermal, more cells and gene therapies are expected to be approved in 2020 and beyond causing this sector of pharma to continue to ramp up. Scalability and cost will also become focal points. Oncology is also expected to be a fundamental driver for a lot of the deal-making activity. Gene therapy manufacturer and discovery are also expected to be on the rise, according to Dan Chancellor, Therapeutic Area Director at Informa Pharma Intelligence. One route of delivery, which will get increasing attention, is a direct route to the brain via the nasal cavity, alongside the increasing prevalence of neurodegenerative diseases in the aging population, adds Jeremy Drummond, Senior VP of Business Development at MedPharma. According to Evaluate Pharma's Vantage 2020 preview, next year's eight drugs are expected to add one billion or more in new sales and four of them are cancer drugs. Lawler also states with the upcoming U.S. election, Congress will likely drive pricing reform, which will impact the development of drugs and likely accelerate the release of generic and biosimilar versions to the market. Preserving profitability might necessitate expanding the use of outsourced partners to drive down costs. Evaluate Pharma adds, while political gridlock means the U.S. lawmakers are not expected to agree on any new measures anytime soon, it is clear that the cost of medicine will remain a live issue next year. This is likely to translate into a volatile time on the stock market. Bulpin also adds that differing regulations in Asia means companies can experiment and modify in a much faster time frame than in the Western world where companies have to wait for trial results. This will help spur more advances in cellular and gene therapy research in Asia. Badre Hammond, Vice President of Commercial Operations at Aptar CSP Technologies states, this will be the African decade where the smart money will be deployed, emerging regional pharma companies in Europe, Middle East, and North Africa and the wider African continent will purchase low-profit generic assets. According to Frederick Murray, president of Korsh America, to support required advances in operational efficiencies, machines are going to be smarter. This means additional sensors to facilitate predictive maintenance and a full complement of onboard support and diagnostic tools, so problems can be quickly identified and remedied. Roddy Martin, Chief Digital Transformation Officer at Tracelink says, two years ago, patient-centric was one of those things you needed to have in your business strategy, but it didn't go anywhere. Now it is on your doorstep and it's going to drive digital transformation efforts. It is going to involve branded manufacturers, suppliers, and distributors working on the same network for patients. Lastly, Marcelo Cruz, head of marketing and business development at Tujopac, believes 2019 has seen many pharma firms starting to explore digital solutions to ensure they are compliant with new track and trace regulations, and is likely that this will continue in 2020. 
Many serialization solutions require the implementation of new data management systems to collect, store, and securely transfer necessary information between supply chain partners.